the basketball in tight spaces. Man, good whistle there. And you know, guys, there's one thing that may have hurt the Hornets the past few seasons, a lack of playoff experience among their core players. And of the Hornets' top five scorers last season, three have never been to the playoffs. And B.A., that can be tough. when the pressure's on. They've gotten blown out in playing games each of the last two seasons. But with all their talent, they should be in the postseason soon enough. Now here's Oubre. Nails it from beyond the arc. Now he's got NBA range. There's no doubt about that. Oubre with 3 and D ability on the wing. Quarter pass to Green. MP against Hayward. Here's P. It's hauled in by Hayward. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Here's Oubre. A quick shot there. It's off target. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. And in, he throws it down. And you can see Smith has the vision. Now, it'll be interesting to watch that part of his game continue to develop. Quarter against Ball. Just over a minute and a half in. It's down to five on the shot clock. Back to Hayward. Up and in on the layup. I tell you, the vision is simply special. Lamelo Ball toys with the defense, creates easy opportunities for his teammates. Now here's Green. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. MP, the pass to Shangun. Back to MP. Deflected! Hayward against Green. Here's Oubre. Up and over Porter. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. With Kelly Oubre, you know this guy is going to be in attack mode. Contact or no, this guy's going to be aggressive. First free throw is good. Perfect from the line this time. Now you look at the physical gifts for Kelly Oubre. Six foot seven, but with a seven foot two wingspan. He's a terrific leaper, and he's got great potential defensively. Back to Green. Up top, Smith. Defended by Jones. They get it back. Shingun. And that one is hammered home. Making the most of the second chance opportunity. Hey, the hustle is real, and the hustle is rewarded. Pass to Oubre. And it's blocked. And here's Smith. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Sinks it from distance. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Outside Oubre. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Ball outside. Here's Hayward. Charlotte again missing. Houston has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Smith finds Porter. Outside. Green. Defended by Jones. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. 
first personal and foul. Some surprise teams Second that started team out foul. hot have not cooled down. That's Their the fans are wondering if this is the new normal. Well, B.A., it's Two easy for shots. fans to jump to that conclusion. But look, the bottom line is you can't look too far ahead. You've got to stay in the moment and enjoy Two. the ride. I wish I had done more of that when I was playing. And he drops the first. Both shots good from the strike. The Hornets have gone two for five here in the first. Hayward outside. Plumley passes to Oubre. To stop the run. The kick out to Ball. And there's the lob. And they converted last on a tenth of a three. Well, there's a chemistry with this group, and Oubre makes that finish look easy. Outside, Green. Pass to Smith. Over Jones, and he buries his first look. I mean, look, he was one of the best jump shooters in the nation in college. I expect Smith will be one of the best in the NBA, too. Porter against Ball. Jones, the pass to Hayward. Steps back and shoots. It's wide right, hits off the rim. For Houston, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Pass to Porter. Green for three. No good on the shot. And it's the Hornets taking it the other way. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. It really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant, and they couldn't get anything going. I thought they were outworked and outplayed in just about every phase of the game. Maybe that's one of those situations where you say, hey, let's move on. Now here's Green. Eight points in his last time out. It's so good to see Smith passing the ball like this. Wanting to improve as a distributor at the NBA. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Outside Oubre. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got four rebounds now. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Pass to Shangun. Porter against Oubre. Six on the shot clock. An open look for Porter. And they get it back. Tries again. Nice jump shot. Smith's got his second basket. Charlotte trailing. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. And just continuing to impress at every level. Smith Jr. was a five-star recruit. Led Auburn to a great season as a freshman. And he's just starting to tap into his potential now. in for the Rockets. Richards has checked in for Charlotte. Terry Rozier comes in for Oubre. On the wing, Rozier. Green covering. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Kevin Porter. Smith Jr. with incredible upside grip. And he's got the work ethic to make it all happen. Yeah, he really does, B.A. He's a humble guy. He puts in extra time at practice. And it really shows in his skill set. Just very advanced for his age. And that one falls for Ball. 
LaMelo Ball, a guy who is so unique in terms of his frame and the game, but boy, the potential is limitless. Martin, he's checked in for Hayward. And so Ball nails both of them. I think the first thing that strikes you when you watch LaMelo Ball is the flair and the vision he has for passing the basketball. So much so, guys, consider the second youngest star to ever hit 700 career assists. The first, LeBron James. Now here's Ball. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Boston. And don't forget the sensational plays he made out there. He saw the court so well, firing perfect passes to teammates for wide... Well, the Hornets shooting around 35% from the field so far. It's been so impressive how quickly LaMelo Ball has adapted to NBA play doors. Well, from the outset, DA, he has looked like he has belonged. This guy distinguished himself amongst his class of rookies. And consider now, it's really about refining point guard skills, continuing to be consistent as a perimeter shooter. Point guard position has a lot of responsibility. This is how the floor looks for the Hornets starting the second. They've got Cody Martin, Mason Plumley out there with Gordon Hayward. Then there's LaMelo Ball, and it's Oubre in at the two spot. And that one falls for Oubre. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, B.A., you know, I made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you can play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Well, for the most part, they've taken care of the ball. I mean, that's one of the few mistakes they've made in what has been a good half. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Oh, <laughs> showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Porter against Ball. Rockets with a rebound. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Hornets team. And always a lot to find out when opponents haven't seen each other yet. It's an interesting matchup. Two teams that don't know each other all that well. Separate conferences. We'll see which one can dictate the pace early. Pass to Martin. Here's Ball. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Ball's got six. Well, the great length and the great size of the backcourt, LaMelo Ball continues to improve as an interior scorer. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. P, no good. And Charlotte shooting just 37% so far in this one. Pass to Oubre. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Changun's got four rebounds now. Here's P. Driving in. Oh, MP throws it down. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Ooh, what a dunk, PA. <laughs>